Welcome back to the John Roberts Gaming Channel. This is John Roberts, and you're watching episode 5 of my match with fellow YouTuber Mannix. Before we get started, I'm going to ask you to like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments about this video. And when you're finished doing that, why don't you head on over to Mannix's channel and do the same for him? So, Mannix vs. John Roberts, episode 5. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Soviet Union, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. He reinforced this to make sure I don't take it. The thing is, can he one two punch me? So he's got seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, fifty, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty, sixty one, sixty two. 63 so let's just say 65 so i need like at least 40 45 would probably be better 50 would probably be safest so 38 39 40 42 46 52 53 54 55 56 so we're, i think we're good in here we'll only be able to get six units hmm. well let's buy our land and only get six Do it like that. Save the one. I could save the one, I could repair the one. Uh, for him, taking this, it's n no different. Either he gets the one, or he gets the repaired. I, I see, either way. For me, it uh, gives me more flexibility to hold onto it for next round, because I'll probably still have Russia next round. I could build an artillery and use up all my money, but I'd rather save the IPC. So let's just experiment. Let's let's just see. Implausible. Still implausible. And nope. Because that's how many units we would need to keep behind to make sure we still held this. So that's not happening. Do I want to trade anything? Maybe not. Maybe not. You get three infantry here. It'd probably take me three infantry. Nope, we'll just stay turtled. No combat, no non-combat. Just put down our six units and see what Germany has in store for us. UK round 9. Germany purchased 9 infantry and 2 artillery. France and Egypt with tank blitz. Uh, Northwest Europe didn't lose any units and Southern Europe lost 4 units there. Okay, any aircraft. Moved some units to Southern Europe. Move some aircraft to Germany. Uh, continuing to stack up Caucasus. Two infantry to West Russia. A couple units to Ukraine. Some units to Poland. Alright, put out ten in Germany and one in Italy. So the UK, I think the best bet for the UK is if they can just keep bringing units into uh, Karelia. He's got three, four... Germany only has the four aircraft. That can reach. Oh no, these can reach too. So they have three, four, five, six. Uh, Japan also has four that can reach. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still pretty safe, but uh, I wonder if I should do a destroyer. One destroyer, and then we can use a, a US destroyer, I think. Keep them in seven. He can send the bomber against two destroyers. I think I could do that. One, two, three, four. He, he only has one bomber in range there. And I have another uh, fighter here to bring, too. Hmm. Something to think about. Something to think about. So let's see. We can get... Seven infantry. Let's 
not great, but it's what we can do. All right, so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. He's starting to make it tough to uh, to hold India. I think I should take Burma again. All right, well, those purchases are fine. I'm gonna take some free land. And I'm gonna attempt this. These two fighters can actually assist. Let's see if we can get Burma. Okay, so two infantry and artillery and two fighters against three in Burma. I hope that works out. It should. All right. May the dice gods be with us. So that was pretty cool. Send the fighters back to C-Zone 5. Where are my transports? Three transports. For some reason I thought I had four transports. Alright, so we might as well take you as well. I'll put these two infantry in Archangel. Perhaps we can get one of these units into Moscow to help defend that. This sub looks good here. Need to land our fighters in India. I got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it should hold, it should hold. We double and triple check. These are definitely not going anywhere. We used our transports already. This infantry stays here. These units stay here. Sub stays put. That's everybody. Alright, the destroyer in seven, three in India, four in UK. Let's see what Japan has in store for us. USA, round nine. All right, Japan, what'd you do? Eight in artillery and eight infantry. Took Persia, took Archangel, and took Burma. Lost an infantry in Archangel and lost two infantry in Burma. Okay, continue to stack up caucuses. I counted this and with the uh, with a one-two punch, it, I should be able to hold this. This should hold. He has a total of Let's just count it up. Let's let's count it up for you. So that's 25, 35, 40, 43, 47, 50, 56, 58. Here we have 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 60, 61, 62, and we will find where how and where we can reinforce sent an infantry to Vologda. An infantry to Novosibirsk, an infantry to Kazak. All right, has a stack here in Xinjiang. Six infantry to Venki. Nine infantry to Sheshwan. And his transports units and aircraft over to Yunnan. Move this cruiser down to C zone 30. Curious. And he got a transport, I guess, to pick up this uh, lost unit here. 
Submarine C Zone 51. Battleship and Transport, C Zone 50. All right, four artilleries in Caucasus. Two artilleries in Kwangtung. Two artilleries in Manchuria. Eight infantry in Japan. So the United States. So I was really contemplating this. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but I was really contemplating this. Doing a can opener in Kazakh and Persia with the United States, and then sending a Soviet tank down into Persia to be able to hold India for at least one more round. And then I thought to myself, that's a little crazy to risk two fighters, maybe more, and get rid of a Soviet tank just to hold India one more round. Because he has so many tanks here, either German or Japanese, and so many fighters, I can't hold India very much longer. So what I'm probably going to do is split this Indian force. Well, I'm going to take Persia lightly and then I'll put everything I can here and these uh, two fighters will skedaddle over to Moscow. That is for UK round 10. This is USA round 9, so let's take care of that. Two fighters will be going, two transports going back. And we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do we have? We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven transports, twelve transports. What does he have here? One, two, three, four, all right, let's get uh do we want a bomber? Maybe I want a bomber. And I want one more transport. I will buy two artillery to help load that transport. And we will purchase two fighters, and we will save five IPCs. Excellent buy. Alright, do we take back Honolulu? He'll be able to come with one, two. Three. One, two, three. I'll have two there, so you know what? Let's do it. We'll take two infantry, and we will take back Honolulu. Oh, actually, we don't need to. Hold on. Because if he takes this, I mean, he can land the aircraft there, but I think his aircraft is preoccupied right now. So we'll only take one of these infantry. Go over to 57, grab this infantry, and land them in Hawaii. Should have built another sub. Hmm. Should have built another sub. Shoulda, coulda. So now I'm thinking of just taking France. Let's do both. Let's do both. Let's let's see here. We only need two of you. One infantry and one artillery for you. You will take Italy. One artillery and one infantry for you. You will take France. Do we want to do that? Hold on. He's got three, four. Hmm. I might not want to do that. Hmm. Logistically, I don't know if that'll work. And actually, he has all these fighters here now, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got six, seven. All right, I'm going to take the... We'll just simply take France and stack up C Zone 14. Oh, uh, let's give him a bombing run. And now let's see if we can get Archangel use of this uh, firepower that's sitting here. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. May the dice gods be with us. Like I said, as good as it's gonna get, let's just land the bomber back in UK, this infantry, over to Karelia, and these six fighters back to Moscow. Send these inf these infantry, blah, 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 blah. send these transports to C Zone 13, send these two transports to C Zone 11, fill up these five transports, 
with all of these units. Send them all to Morocco. Okay, this aircraft carrier. Cruiser. A little cluttered there. Okay, fighter to C Zone 14. Three destroyers to C Zone 14. The battleship to C Zone 14. And that's the one. Take this fighter and land that fighter in 14 as well. This fighter will also land in 14. Four of you. We'll go to Central USA. This infantry will come down to Western USA. Oh, the fighter from Eastern USA is supposed to land in 13. That's what happened there. Okay. We are not moving you. We are not moving you. We are not moving you. We already moved the transports. We already moved these. Done, done, and done. Okay. So we'll mobilize our units. The bomber. The fighter. Oh, you know what? That's not where I want the bomber. I want the bomber in Western. I also want one fighter in Western. And then we'll put another fighter in Eastern. The transport. And the two artillery. Let's send it over to Soviet Union. Soviet Union. Let's count it all over again. 25, 35, 40, 46, 50, 56, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. And here we have 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 54, 60, 62. <sighs> so do we want to try to trade these two? We can't really buy many land units. Only three. We can save two IPCs. Alright, that's what we'll buy. I'm just gonna tank, blitz this. And that'll do it. No combat. No non-combat moves. We just hope that this holds. It really should. I have a force here that is almost equal to the total number of units that he could attack me with. Because he could attack me with about seven. Well, let's count it up again. 25, 30, 40, 46, 50, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 66, 67, 74, 75. And we have 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So we have 65 against 75. If he's going to try to one-two punch me with those kind of numbers, he's might be in for a rude awakening. That is not enough. To attack a territory with 65 and a one-two punch, you probably need collectively about 90 units. 85 units, at least, I would think. Yeah, usually 60 units. You're going to need like 80 units. There's 65 units here. So yeah, you're going to need 80 plus units at least to take this, and you have 75. So that should hold. If it doesn't hold, then we are uh, through in this game, I would think. Play one or two more rounds after that and kind of just concede it, but we'll, we'll have to see what Germany has in store for us. United Kingdom, round 10. What did Germany have in store for us, I wonder? 12 infantry. He had to repair 5 points of damage. He took Archangel. He took back France. Lost one infantry there. Two would have been nicer. Uh, Germany won and took the territory. Destroyed one infantry. No units lost in Baltic States. And battle conducted in Belarus. No units lost. All right. Moved units to Caucasus. Moved units to Italy. Moved units to Berlin. Moved units to Ukraine. And moved some units to Poland. He mobilized 10 infantry to Germany and two to Italy. So the United Kingdom 
I'm pretty sure we have to abandon India. I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way to do that. Do we want to go into Burma or do we want to go into Persia? Either way, I think I, I think I'm going to go into Burma. I know he's going to just take out whatever I put there. That's going to be around where he's putting units here rather than here, delaying him one more round. And I think that's the best I could do. If I put them here, I might take out a few of these units, but it's just not going to delay him as much as putting it here, I think. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear what you think on this, because I uh, have been thinking about this for a while, and I'm hoping I'm making the right decision. Of course, the two fighters will go and help defend Moscow. And then up here, these four infantry. I think I'm going to use these four infantry to take Baltic, and then I think I'm going to take... Uh, Archangel for the Soviets, and then I'll try to see with the Americans if I could take West Russia. Hopefully, I don't actually capture it with the Americans, but if I do, it's not the end of the world. I just would rather have the two IPCs for Russia. So we'll see how all that goes. So first, let's see, we have, I think, four transports. How many transports do we have here? I can't see. I can't see the transports. Trey. So that's only six units that are required for that. Okay, six units. Let's recount this. One, two, three aircraft. Four, five aircraft. The aircraft from Caucasus does not reach, so two, four, five aircraft can threaten uh, Season 5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel that's pretty safe. And we have another destroyer here to beef it up, too. That's right. I did that just to be extra sure. To make sure it's a guarantee. All right, uh, let's just spend it all and get the two infantry artillery. Five infantry, two artillery. Wait, we only need six. Hold on, we only need six. Maybe we should get a tank. No, you know what, I'm just, yeah, four, five, six. Save three. I'm good with that. I, I don't generally like buying tanks for transport. I just like the, uh, I think the infantry artillery combination is just more efficient and I'd get to hold on to a couple of IPCs. UK's income is dwindling, so these three IPCs might make sure that I can produce five or six units uh, next round. So let's uh, move on to combat move. Take these four infantry from UK, all four of them, and land them in Baltic with the two cruiser bombardments. Four infantry and two cruiser bombardments. Hmm, how are we going to do this? What does this even say it is? It says it's strong. Hmm. It's not really imperative that I take this. I really want to make sure I get Archangel for the Germans. For the Germans, for the Soviets. Use this infantry. One of you. And then we could put three here. And use one aircraft for each. And just go on faith that we'll get these hits that we require here. This is not imperative. None of these are very imperative. None of these are game-changing. They're meant to be a slowdown, a pain in the butt, and costly for the Germans. So that's the only purpose here. All right. So let's just do it. Everyone. Everyone. And yes, we're going to end up just handing in India to him. I don't have enough units. I didn't produce units. I, I just... What difference does it make, honestly? What, am I going to take out one or two units to what I was able to leave in here? It's just... It's not worth it. Let's just take out Burma, force him to attack Burma, take these two fighters to defend Moscow, which is more important anyway. It's also one of the reasons I took Honolulu. I'm, I'm sure he's going to work on taking it back, but uh, we have to watch the count here. He has six. Well, he's not going to get this one, but he can get this one and this one. So that'll bring him up to eight. So we really have to watch. That's really why I invested in this. Also, I should have put one more submarine here. Now, if he tries to take this, he either has to come with just the sub, I mean, just the transport. That might not be enough. And he's got to think about putting these naval units here with the two fighters, the bomber, and uh, the sub and the destroyer. So I usually do not purchase for the specific, but I've been learning more and more that when you get into the mid game, like late game, and Japan starts doing things like this, that you might actually want to purchase some units and use them here. Most of them actually are aircraft, which can easily be sent east, and the naval units for that matter could be sent east as well, theoretically. So, 
That's my logic there. Can these fighters reach anything? Why is this fighter going to... What, what is this going on here? That is not correct. What's going in here? It's three on two, right? Yeah, no, we need to fight her here. That would have been a disaster. It's a good thing I checked that. So these fighters can't really do much for us. I mean, if we really wanted to pull a can opener, I don't think it's worth risking a fighter. I'm wondering if maybe I should put this submarine here, just to make sure that he cannot take Honolulu without at least sending the battleship or the uh, aircraft carrier. That might be a good move. The, the submarine is invulnerable. If we look at our defense profiles here, submerged defenders with fleet. But everything else seems to be set here. Let's uh, have at it. May the dice gods be with us. So I'm happy with all that. Let's take these two fighters before we forget and move them up here. The anti-aircraft gun will leave India completely empty. Just want to take out as many units as possible here. Want him to have to use as many units as possible there also. All right, land uh, the aircraft back in season five, back in season five. Well, you know what? We can afford to put one in Moscow to shore up that defense since we have an overpowered number of units here. But you know what? No. I've got another US fighter to put in there. I just put two more in there. Let's let's just keep our sea zones safe. We'll put this sub here in 53. The sub it will not defend the transport. This transport I'm assuming will be gone. He doesn't have aircraft in range. He could send the sub and then I'd have to decide do I want to use my destroyer and my aircraft take out a sub and then be in range of these and blah 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 so we'll see what happens with that one infantry in Karelia I think I'm gonna leave that infantry in Karelia let's see let's put you here it seems to me that if he wanted to make an assault on this territory he'd have to use aircraft let's do our double and triple check we are not moving you I want to leave you in Karelia for uh, trading purposes it looks like everything else has moved Every other unit has been moved. It looks good. All of our units go in the UK. Okay, Japan. Let's see what you got in store for us. Here we are at USA round 10. We'll have to review Japan round 10. 7 infantry, 9 artilleries. That's interesting that he uh, overboard artilleries. I guess he feels he has plenty of infantry, but he has artillery too. Hm, that's interesting. Okay, so he took Japan. Uh, Japan. He took India with Japan. He took it lightly. He did not attack my Burma force. So now the question is what do I do with this next round? I suppose I just go back into India. Uh, purpose served, kind of muckled him up a bit. If he wants India, he's going to have to come get it, I guess, at this point. Okay. So he took Transjordan. What happened here? 
What? Uh, wait a minute. What happened here? Defenders submerge with fleet. But how did he get that? He didn't have a destroyer. The United States is set on the same one. If any developers are, are watching this, uh, how did this happen? Destroyed one submarine and one transport. No units lost in battle. How? How did he do that? I would really like to know. So I'm not I'm not saying Mannix cheated, I'm saying Mannix found the cheat in the game accidentally and benefited from it. Well anyway, cruiser to 47, two artillery to Anway, nine infantry to Xinjiang, one infantry to Persia, one infantry to Kazakh, moved some units to Yunnan, one infantry to French Indochina, one bomber to Caucasus. Couple of units up to Venki. Battleship and aircraft carrier to 50. Uh, moved one infantry to Carolina Islands. Moved some units to East Indies. Interesting. Okay, mobilized four artilleries in Caucasus, four artilleries, four infantry in Japan, one artillery, one infantry in Japan, and Manchuria. Excuse me, and two infantry in Kwangtung. So the United States. Let's see. Let's get ready for f ten units for pickup. Get a couple of artillery with that too. I'm gonna go for two more fighters. Okay, I'm going to take one of you artillery in Morocco. And one of you infantry in Morocco. Okay, so we gotta take France back again. Just gonna use one artillery. Three infantry there. Use two more infantry. Okay, so the battleship and the fighters. We'll go on a bombing run. Hopefully that works out. Let's see about a can opener here in West Russia. I'm going to leave his sub alone. In here we got one, two, we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he can hit with one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so we're still good there? Okay. So may the dice gods be with us. Okay, let's land this fighter back here in Season 13. These six fighters, unfortunately we took West Russia, and that's not that big a deal, but there it is. My goal here with this tactic is to just take as many territories as possible, with as few land units as possible, and just spread them out and make them have to make all these little attacks. Uh, the U.S. machine just was not well oiled and hasn't been chugging along yet. Uh, it's round 10 and it just never really got it kicking. It's one issue in this game of mine is uh, one or two minor logistical mistakes kind of really slowed me down a bit. Let's see before USA is finished with their round. He does have a significant lead in firepower. So let's make our non-combat moves. 
make sure we bring these transports. Actually, I wanted to take one artillery, one infantry, and send them down here. The reason I didn't attack here, because I could have, I could have sent a transport down to 24, is he has this bomber here. One, two, three, four, five. Whereas from here, I can't count a route. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't count a route where he can get to C zone 23 and land safely. One, two, three, four, five. No landing point. So the transport is safe here, from what I can see. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not, he has this bomber. It is not. Mm, I really don't want him to just be able to take all of this African land here. Mm. All right, let's just march him east. March him east. And we'll just bring all of these units back. And we'll bring another load of units, artillery and infantry. Land them in Morocco. This we all leave here. I'm still very upset about this C Zone 53. Okay, this fighter can go to 13, and then we can shuffle fighters around. One. You know what? We could do this now. One of these fighters can go to Russia, and then this fighter can land in 14, and this fighter goes to 13. I'm gonna leave these three aircraft here. That way it's four on four. I double checked, now I'm gonna triple check. Just said I'm leaving all of this here. Already moved this, I'm leaving all of this here. I already moved all these transports, I'm leaving all of this here. One more fighter in Western USA, one more fighter in Eastern USA. I promise I'm gonna start bringing some of this aircraft east. Two fighters to Eastern USA. Two artillery to Eastern USA. Eight infantry to Eastern USA. Let's send it over to Soviet Union. So I hope you enjoyed episode 5 of Mannix vs. John Roberts. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and do all those wonderful things that you do. And please join us for episode 6 of Mannix vs. John Roberts. And as always, thank you for watching.